Rwanda bill causing migrants to head for Ireland instead of UK, Deputy PM says. It comes at a time when tension over immigration levels is high in Ireland, with the country experiencing a housing crisis. Trudder House in County Wicklow has been the scene of protests since it was revealed the site could be used to house asylum seekers. The threat of deportation to Rwanda is causing migrants to head for Ireland instead of the UK, Ireland's Deputy Prime Minister has said. The Rwanda bill, which will see asylum seekers, entering the UK illegally, sent to the Central African nation regardless of the outcome of their application was passed on Tuesday, despite human rights concerns. Michael Martin told the Daily Telegraph that the policy was already affecting Ireland, as people were fearful of staying in the UK. The former Taoiseach said, maybe that's the impact it was designed to have. Mr Martin, who is also Ireland's Foreign Secretary, said asylum seekers were seeking to get sanctuary here and within the European Union as opposed to the potential of being deported to Rwanda. His words follow those of Justice Minister Helen McKenty, who told a scrutiny committee in the Irish Parliament earlier this week that migrants and refugees were crossing the border with Northern Ireland. Ms McKenty said, higher than 80% of people seeking asylum in Ireland entered the country through Northern Ireland, a border crossing that is open as guaranteed under a UK-EU Brexit treaty. Protesters take part in the Ireland says no anti-refugee gathering outside the Custom House in Dublin. Picture date, Monday, February 5, 2024. Read less. It comes amid increasing tension over immigration levels in Ireland, which is grappling with a housing crisis that has affected its own people as well as asylum seekers. Overnight, six people were arrested during a protest at a site earmarked to house asylum seekers in Newton Mount Kennedy in County Wicklow. According to RTE, there have been protests during the past six weeks at the site, known as Trudder House or River Lodge. It is reportedly being considered as a site for 28-person tents housing asylum seekers but some locals have said it is unsuitable and the village's resources already overstretched. Ms McKenty said there was a lot of misinformation about migration at the moment. She tweeted late on Thursday to promote the EU Migration and Asylum Pact, which she described as a real game-changer and something we must opt into. Subscribe for more.